Hello, my name is Marlene. For those of you who don't know me and for those of you who do, hello. Um, this is a video that I'm creating um, to give you a little bit of background on myself and my why, okay? Um, when I say my why, I mean a couple of different things. Why I am who I am, why I do the things that I do, and why um, I have embarked on a new journey with m the company that I'm in um, called Unique, okay? Um, Unique stands for more than just cosmetics and makeup. Um, Unique is um, was put together and founded, um, and our mission statement um, is all combined into one and it's to uplift empower and validate all women across the world okay um now a lot of people um who look at us and our selfies and our our pictures of things that we do and the craziness that we do um they don't they they, they don't see past the fact that we are, you know, getting online and doing our photos of ourselves and um, videos and, and all that stuff, okay? Um, we've all somehow, Unique has somehow found us. Some, some way, shape, or form has found each and every one of us. And call it a tribe, call it a sisterhood, um, whatever you may call it, if you have been um, approached by any unique presenter or if you are following any unique presenter, um, you'll find that there's a lot more to us than just makeup and selfies, okay? Um, now, a little bit about myself. This is my why, okay? I was, I've been military all my life. I was born into it. I went into it. I was in the Air Force. Um, I graduated from high school and went straight into the Air Force. Um, I got out of the Air Force and um, started my journey with, you know, being married and having kids and everything else and my career fields that I have embarked upon, which um, a lot of you know, um, the medical field has been my world for a little over 30 years now. And... Um, I don't know. I was just drawn to the medical field. Um, I wanted to help people. I've always had that in me to want to help others. And um, that was a way for me to be able to do that. And um, very rewarding, very rewarding career field. Um, and another thing is that, um, and this is kind of, very personal to me. Um, our unique foundation, what, and I don't mean the makeup foundation that you put on your face. Um, the unique foundation is an organization that was put together um, prior to um, unique even being born, okay? And it is basically for those who have suffered through um, any type of sexual abuse um, as a child or as an adult. Um, if, you've, if you have been unfortunate enough to have had to experience that, um, you know that it strips you down to the core and it, and it takes away your self-confidence. It takes away every bit of validation that you have within yourself, okay? Um, in my particular situation, and this is where it gets a little personal and it's a little difficult for me to speak about, um, I, um, and I'm getting better at it, okay? I'm getting better at it. I've grown, I've grown a lot over the years and especially since I've been in Unique. Um, I personally was I, I am a survivor of sexual abuse, and um, this was from a family member 
and um, my he is deceased now. He is no longer alive. Um, however, that was from the age when most people, you know, and mothers especially, um, call their eight-year-olds their babies. You know, they're they're still your babies, and and um, it happened to me from the time I was eight until I was twelve or thirteen. And, um, I was basically, um, I, I did, I, I, I told who I needed to tell about this, but it was so unbelievable or unfathomable, fathomable for, um, some of the adults in my life to even, um, Think that that could possibly be true and um, so I felt alone I felt lost um, I for many years I tried to find love in all the wrong places and um, it it was a lonely um, a lonely road for me okay um, my friends were my backbone back then because there were a couple of my friends um that knew my knew my story and um and they really really were there for me and um those people are hopefully watching this um my high school friends um my junior high school friends people that have known me since I was young okay um family it was really hard for them to swallow. It was really hard for them to um, believe because this man had been in our lives for many years, and um, it it ha it happened. And um, whether they believed me or not, whether they um, just put it out out of their mind because oh, because it was so dramatic at that time um, there was no help there was no 1-800 number to call um, and basically my my self-esteem was in the toilet okay for most of my life I battled weight um, I would you know starve myself to death I had an eating disorder um, I was bulimic I, I was more on the bulimic side than I was um, the the anorexic side because I never really saw myself as skinny okay and that was a big deal to me and I used to be teased by you know certain people called roly-poly and um, you know that really strikes home when you're when you're growing up and when you're in your formative years and um, luckily, by the grace of God, I happen to be a survivor, and I, I just, just kept looking forward, and the something that I would fit, that would fit me, that would fit in with me. Um, I, um, like I said, I was in the Air Force and right out of high school. And the reason why I joined the Air Force, not only to serve our country, but my biggest reason was to get out of the area that I was born and raised in, in which I still love that area. I, I love um, where I'm from, and that's the state of California. Um, I joined the Air Force to, to basically start my own life, my own world. And um, I was um, a, I had a dual job in the Air Force. I was in the den dental and medical field. Basically, I was a field medic, okay? Um, it was something that, that just kept me going, just kept me going all, all through, um, even into my adulthood. Um, well, I was an adult then, but even my adulthood now. And, um, and it's been something that's been very rewarding, like I said. Um, it's It's been my way of coping with um, my past and what all happened to me as a young child and um, by helping others to overcome 
um, little challenges in their life. Um, so I, you know, I've always been a, a in, in, in that field of work, but I've dabbled in other little things here and there. Um, I didn't go to college until after I got out of the Air Force. So, um, you know, that was a part of my life too, the college thing. And um, I traveled the world um, after meeting my husband now. Um, I traveled the world with the military with his career. And um, I always had to pick up and start over again everywhere I went with the career field that I had, which was in EMS and um, just the other little things that I dabbled in, like photography. I was always the, a photographer. That was a, a passion of mine to, to be a photographer, but not the one that would, the pictures were being taken of. They were pictures of me taking of others, okay? Um, and, um, you know, many other things along the way. Direct sales companies came and went. Um, I was in a numerous amounts of, of um, direct sales companies that worked differently then than they do now. Um, I, I think the first one I remember starting in was Tupperware. Um, and that was when I was like 19 years old. And Basically, I was a kidnapper and got all this wonderful stuff from Tupperware. And then, you know, I did, did my first party and it just wasn't for me. It just wasn't my thing. But I loved the product. Um, the Another one I remember being in was Avon. Um, Avon, somebody talked me into it. And I started doing it. But it was just a lot of... of it just... At that time, the way it was when I was in it, it just didn't fit my lifestyle at the time. And um, I loved the stuff that was in it, not so much the the actual makeup because it didn't really work for my face, but um, all the other little goodies that are in the, the catalog. So I stayed with that, you know, for a very short time. Um, that was back in the early 90s. And then... Um, I remember being in um, Amway. I was talked into Amway, and um, I don't even know if they still exist. I have no clue, but um, I I did well in Amway. I walked across the stage and everything else, and I loved that I could have, you know, food and everything else delivered to my house, and you know, I just got to order and blah blah blah. I I did that, but that just didn't fit my life either. And um, meanwhile, I'm still doing my career jobs, okay? Um, so I've always dabbled in little things here and there. Then the, you know, Mary Kay found me. And I've always loved makeup. And um, Mary Kay was the first real stab at uh, bettering my uh, financial situation and my um, hope, hopefully, self-esteem and everything else. It didn't. It didn't wind up helping my self-esteem much because when I was in, and I was in for 16 years with Mary Kay, and I love what the company stands for. I love their product. <clears throat> there was only certain things that I couldn't use, but. For me back then, and I was a leader, I was a red jacket leader, a, a car bonus qualified and and all that. And, you know, I had a team of amazing women with me and um, I went really far. I was always winning prizes for this and prizes for that. And I went to all the the um, the conventions every every year that I could while I was in Mary Kay. And it was amazing. But again, um, after a while, it just, it was more of a burden um, back then because they weren't, um, when Mary Kay was alive, she didn't allow um, us to promote like we can now on social media. I think she'd be rolling over in her grave at the moment if she found out 
that we weren't, they weren't going door to door and doing local parties and stuff like that. Okay. Um, that was the one thing that she always, um, insisted upon the way she made the business and that was the way it was supposed to stay. And it didn't. And, um, I wound up finding myself, um, not wanting to drive that two hours to do a party, dragging all of my stuff to show up at a house that maybe no one shows up to that person's party. Not only did that hostess feel horrible that nobody showed up and I drove two hours to get there, I had to drive back two hours. And I also had my kids and my husband and I had to work as well. So it, it no longer fit my lifestyle, although I love what they stand for. Um, they're, they're an amazing company. They haven't gotten to where they are right now um, without being having successful people. And there's a lot of successful people in there. And I found that I was very successful with it too. It just didn't fit my lifestyle. Um, then I swore off any direct sales companies ever, dove right into only my medical career and my kids, my family, my husband, um, I, that's what my life became. And <clears throat> um, I went through a lot of ups and downs because of, you know, when you are abused as a child, um, you kind of carry that along with you if you don't get the correct help that you need. And so I was always finding myself helping others, but not really truly believing that I could um, be successful and that I could be confident and that I could be, you know, somebody's inspiration. And um, and I, I was introduced to a little uh, tube of makeup or tube of mascara and um, called 3D Fiber Lash. This was, oh my gosh, probably about three and a half years ago now. And um, it was in a party and I I bought it. It was $29. I thought, oh, what the hey, let me, you know, let me try it. I like makeup. They say it's gonna do this, it's gonna do that. Well, at first I hated it because why? I, I wasn't shown how to use it and um, I didn't read the directions, okay? So, of course, if you don't read the directions on something and you're not doing it correctly, you're probably not going to like it. It's going to get shoved into your drawer somewhere and never to be seen again and swearing it off. Well, then I, um, I met online, of all things. It, it was just really strange how it happened because I had a lot of my friends from the past who were in this business who tried to recruit me many times and I was just no 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 more cosmetics companies for me I'll wear makeup I'll dibble dabble in all different brands but I am not going to um, I am not going to be another you know direct sales person and so um, I was in several groups, as you see. I am a different type of individual. I like motorcycles. I like um, the wild side of life. I like to live and have, um, you know, enjoy my life. And um, I, I met a girl on a biker website, and um, by the name, and and she is my sponsor. Her name is Brooks Benedict, and um, I. I got to, she got to know me and we talked, you know, for a while. We built a relationship and, um, and then I started really looking into her profile and, um, who is this that I'm speaking to? And I noticed, mm, she's a unique presenter. She's building a relationship with me so that she can, um, get me on her team. Okay. Well, I, I don't want to be in the cosmetics industry, but I really loved my relationship that I had built with Brooks Benedict, okay? And um, one day, it was just really strange because, I mean, when she first first approached me about this, 
um, about, you know, buying, it was when the lip stains, they, they had a, a kudos going for lip stains. And I was, I had been mentioning that I had found this lip stain that I really liked and, and it was another brand. And um, she had approached me about buying this lip stain and I was Mm, no, because because at that point I knew that the minute I did, she was going to try to recruit me, and I didn't I didn't want to be recruited by anyone. I'll be anyone's customer, but I did not want to be recruited. Um, and then and then I started to really you know I was paying attention to her because she was she built a relationship with me. I she was my friend. I hadn't met her, but she was my friend online. And one day, this this post came across my newsfeed, and it was from Brooks, and it was about the unique foundation. Well, I had never seen that before. I had never been talked to about the unique foundation before, and I didn't know what it was. I thought it was, you know, foundation. I thought it was, you know, makeup. I and and I wasn't going to get into anything like that again but then I started reading it and I started reading as to I it really caught my attention because of my history and I um that is my why I approached her and I said Brooks why did you not um tell me about this unique foundation and if you had told me this um a long time ago I would have bam I'd have been right there. That was my trigger. That was my 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 why. That is what I've been trying to um, deal with my whole entire existence since I was eight years old, and I wanted to um, not not so much because, like I said, I didn't like the mascara at first until I learned how to use it, and I learned from Brooks, and then I then I fell in love with it. And um, but when I when I found out what unique the unique foundation was about, I knew that was my calling because I was a survivor of the sexual abuse, and I wanted to um, put a face to this um this foundation that you can you can succeed and you can be um anything you want to be and you can be um in you know confident and and all that okay even though i at that point i wasn't a hundred percent confident in myself but you know and and still i struggle with that with confidence um it may not look like that to you who who have been following me for quite some time, but um, it, it, it's a, it was a struggle, but I decided right then and there that was what made me become a kidnapper, okay? I was going to buy that makeup. I was going to buy that kit that had all that makeup in it. I think it was worth $256 at the time for $99, um, but just to use the makeup play with it, um, but more so to donate to a an organization, a foundation that was my story so that I could help somebody out there that was just like me who's been lost for many years because of something that happened to me in my past. So that was the reason why I joined Unique. Um, I had never intended on selling it never intended on doing selfies of the day and videos and um, all the craziness that you see me doing, detoxing my pits and, you know, all the, all this stuff that you see me doing now. I grew in this experience. It's been a little over a year, a year and some change. And um, I didn't even, I got my kit in July and of 2004. 15 I believe it was and at that point um, the day that my kit came in my husband had um, suffered a bilateral pulmonary embolism and he was in the hospital and I couldn't open my kit um, we were at the hospital on a daily basis um, for him and um, makeup this makeup box was the last thing on my mind so um, I 
I uh, didn't even really start to open my kit or anything until I believe it was the last week of July. And it was right before they were going to um, Unique was having their convention in Chicago. And I was following a few Unique presenters and um, some friends of mine and people that were going to um, the, the convention in Chicago. And Periscope was a big deal at the time and, and I was following these girls and seeing how much fun they were having and, and what a blast they were having. And I decided, you know what? Um, there was there was one person in in particular that grabbed my attention and um, her name is Danny and she knows Danielle okay I'm not going to give a last name um, but she went as mascara mommy that was her just like I'm biker babe everybody knows me as biker babe she was known as mascara mommy and she was such an inspiration to me and I just just watching her and her mother and enjoying their time at, at convention and made me reflect on the fun that I had um, in, at uh, my Mary Kay conventions that I used to go to all the time. There was a, one difference though. They were all able to be themselves. This is me. This is myself, okay? Um, not a cookie cutter. I felt like a cookie cutter and um, of you know we were all wearing our red blazers those of us who were who were leaders and I was very proud of that blazer but I really couldn't be the Marlene that I that I truly was on the inside I had to show the businesswoman side of me all the time and um, you know go to you know Walmart and what we call blitzing right now I'd have to go to Walmart or stores or whatever to get dressed up in my black skirt, my white shirt, my red blazer, my black pantyhose, and my high heels and have my makeup on. And then approach women that, um, you know, I thought would be good for this business. And that's just not my style. And I always felt like um, I was a cookie cutter of image of all of the other women. And... Um, whereas I fell into a lot of the same beliefs as they did, <clears throat> I couldn't be myself. I couldn't look like myself. I couldn't, um, oh my gosh, it, it just, it just couldn't happen. It just couldn't happen. So, um, back to where I'm at now, um, Danny and her mother, I started following them a lot and, um, also a person that, I found that is actually in way up there in my upline, um, Amber Voigt. And um, she has this crazy red hair and she, you know, she's, she's fun and she's just amazing. And I started following her and I was like, oh my God, you know, this, this, this is possible. This is, this is a company that I can stand behind and I've already, you know, bought the kit, let's let's put that makeup on and see if it's as good as everybody says it is. It was, it, I'm, I am like speechless when it comes to how good this makeup actually is. And this isn't a sales video for you. This is my why story. Um, but I, it made it really easy for me to put that makeup on and I felt good. When I was wearing it, it was lightweight. It was everything you wanted it to be. And believe me, I've at my age, I'm 49 years old right now, and I'll be 50 in August. And at my age, I have bought truckloads of makeup in my life. And not, some of which worked, some of which didn't. I spent a fortune on this collection and a fortune on that. And a big, huge truckload of makeup that I just couldn't, you know, I'd use once and it wouldn't work and you can't take it back to the store because it's used or whatever. Um, and even in department stores, you just can't take it back because I used to buy, you know, all the, the high-end brand makeup because that was, you know, what I figured would make me look better. Well, I started, you know, using the Unique and 
every time I put it on, I felt better and better and started dabbling in things that colors that I would have never in a million years put on my face. And then I started thinking, you know what? I can do this. Why am I not doing this? This, this company stands for everything that I stand for and that I, that I am about. Why not share that why love? When you hear me say why love, that's what it is. I'm sharing not only the love of the makeup and the skincare, but I'm sharing the why love, the sisterhood that you get out of it. Because we are not in competition with each other. Um, we, we stand behind each other. We cheer each other on. We love on each other no matter whether we're in each other's success lines or not. We are truly a family. And I loved that about this business. And so I decided that I was going to go ahead and you know what, let's just give it that old college try and let's see how this works. And if it doesn't work, no big deal. Spent 99 bucks on a kit and I can continue to get my makeup at a discount and be basically a hobbyist, get my makeup and you know, whatever at my discount. But I fell in love with it. And I started, um, stepping out of my shell a little bit more and more each day. And started finding myself taking a hundred selfies a day just to find one picture that I actually liked of myself that I felt pretty in. Let me tell you, when you, you might see something and you might think that you may or may not think I'm pretty, it, that you may or may not think that a lot about me. I don't um, or didn't at that time look at myself as being anything special or anything pretty or any, I just knew that I was a lifesaver. Okay. I was a lifesaver for other people, quite literally in the trenches, upside down in, you know, cars that were crashed while the firefighters were trying to, you know, extricate the person, but I was small enough that I could climb in there and, you know, and, and help that person survive until we were able to pull them out and, and get them to the hospital. So quite literally, I, I knew I was doing my part that I was put on this earth to do, which was life-saving. Um, and, you know, through the years then I, you know, I had that adrenaline rush going on and feeling good about, you know, helping others. And I also had the more sedate side of me with massage therapy, because as you all know, I'm a, I'm a massage therapist as well. I'm, I'm licensed in all of this. And, um, I do my massage therapy and it's my relaxation for myself, even though I'm not the one on the table, it's a relaxation for myself. But even though I do that full time, um, I have grown to make unique full time as well. So basically I have two full time jobs and two full time jobs that I absolutely love. Okay. I absolutely love. And, um, the EMS part of it, I am still licensed in the state of Missouri to do it, but not here in Wisconsin where I'm at now. Um, and it's time at my age to start, you know, kind of slowing down, not picking up, um, <clears throat> three, 400 pound people with just one other person to hurry up and get them to the hospital and everything. It's done a number on my body. So, um, I, I, chosen to go ahead and let that part of me retire, although my heart will always be in it. Once my licensure um, expires, I will, I will be basically retired from EMS, but not, um, my love of it is still there. And um, anyways, so with Unique, I work this business full time. I found that the more and more I do it, the more more and more I'm uplifting, empowering, and validating other women and other women to, to see their worth. And it's making me see my worth. It's brought me to a whole new level of my life. And um, it's been a godsend for me. So um, I'm not in any, you know, any crazy uh, cult or anything else. That's not what this is. Um, we are a family. We are a sisterhood. Um, we, you know, who doesn't want to be uplifted, empowered, and validated? Okay. Plus I can do this from home. Um, and it's something that 
I, the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. And I've learned that over, over the years. And, um, there's always that help out there from us. And if you don't see your business flourishing, um, you know, there's many of us to look to that may be not part of your success line that you connect with, like me. I, I have a lot of wise sisters and brothers that are in other success lines, but they always turn to me for advice or whatever, and I'm always happy to give it because that's just me. Um, so anyways, that is... I'm, I'm going to cut this down a little bit and and basically that is my why I the unique foundation that is why I do what I do um, as time has gone on um, my why is the basis of it is still there that's my why I joined um, that is why I that that's what propels me every day to keep doing the things that I do because I want other women and children out there to know that there is a future for them. There is help. There is a way out of that, that horrible existence that they feel inside. Um, so that's my why, why I keep doing this. Now, it changes um, as you go along, and, and the longer that you're in the company, it, my why has changed, not really changed, but it's expanded. And my why now are the women that have, put their trust in me and um, signed up underneath me without me asking them. They just felt a connection to me and signed up underneath me. And I feel an obligation to them and, you know, to serve them um, with love and support and to let them know that they can be um, all that they can be and that, that, whatever their challenges were, whether it be the same thing as me or whether it was a, you know, maybe they had a drug problem, maybe they had a, um, you know, just a really hard life. That can all change just like that. They just have got to embrace it. And I've, I've, I've gotten a lot of women who have turned to me because of that. And I feel blessed and honored that these women have, have turned to me. And um, I'm not going to let them down. I'm not going to let myself down because this has changed my life. This has been a life-changing experience for me and something that I plan on. Um, I, I started as a kidnapper, but I'm going to be a, I'm a future black status leader. Okay. I am going to make it to black status if it kills me. It's seriously, because that's how much I believe in this company um, for what it stands for, not just the fact that we've got amazing makeup and, you know, that compares to none in my books. Um, that That is just what helps me to, I have a great product standing behind me to get my message out there to other women to help you know, uplift, empower, and validate them. That's our mission statement, okay? That is what our company stands for. That is why I do what I do. So, um, that is, that's it. Um, I believe that I've pretty much covered it. If anybody wants to know more about me, or, you know, n not even having to do with Unique, if you want to know about my Air Force career, if you want to know about my, you know, being a, a, uh, dental assistant slash field medic um, um, in EMS after I got out of the military, um, my family life, my husband, my my kids, feel free to reach out to me. I am, I am just, an, I'm an open book now. I never used to be. I was very closed down. But now you see, I am very, um, it, unique has changed me a lot. I have stepped out of my comfort zone a lot of times. Um, when it wasn't easy, but I did it, and I've I've only seen positive results from it. Okay, and um, I feel better. I feel more confident. I feel like I'm able to get my message out there, and I feel like if those who don't, you know, I'm not their cup of tea, <clears throat> then that's okay. Um, we we're not here to impress other people. Um, we're here to serve other people. Everybody should be serving other people with a loving heart and um, not degrading people and not 
arguing and fighting and not, you know, having that negative life. And it, I have no room for that in my life. And everything is about positivity with me now. And that's why um, you see so many positive things going on in my um my Facebook, it has changed tremendously from what it was a couple years ago when I was, you know, going through some hard times. And um, so anyways, that is about it. And I want to thank you for, if you've gotten this far in this video, I want to thank you for <clears throat> watching me and uh, for following me, for liking on my business posts. Um, I, for those of you who aren't even customers and who do their own direct sales, please feel free to, you know, we help each other. It, even in other direct sales, we like on each other's posts. It bumps our posts up and gets our message out. So we help each other in direct sales, okay, in multi-level marketing. That's what we do. Um, and you help me. It's a, you know, scratch my back, I'll scratch yours type of thing. And, um... And it's one of those amazing journeys. And I can't imagine my life not being in this company and why I didn't know about this, about this company so much sooner. But everything happens for a reason. I needed to grow in certain ways before this was able to come my way. And um, I, I believe that I'm well on my way to, you know, succeeding in the message that I am that I am trying to portray um, to, to give to other people. So um, anyways, um, friends and family, like on my posts. You know, I'm not going to jump on you and say, hey, buy this, buy that. I'm not that way. I'm not a pushy salesperson. Um, you want to buy it, the link is always there for you to buy it. But you could help me by boosting my posts by liking or sharing or commenting because every time you do that it bumps it up and somebody else that was like me that needed that that message to come through to me um the through the through the glory of social media um it'll that message might reach that right person who might be on the verge of ending their life or or whatever and you could be their saving grace just by sharing my story share feel free to share my story um, and um, and you guys all be blessed and thank you thank you for taking the time to get to know a little bit behind the scenes of Marlene and I hope you'll continue to follow me and <clears throat> during this journey and I really hope a lot of you will join me in this journey, but again, that's got to be your, your calling, and this is my calling. So anyways, thank you again, and um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to be so blessed in the future. I've, uh, you know, I've been blessed, and I'm going to continue to be blessed, and it's by a lot to do with many of you out there who cheer me on, root me on, support me, and, and, you know, help me get my message out, okay? So anyways, that's my why, and I will um, see you on the flip side. You'll be seeing a lot of me, so um, take care and be blessed, and have a great week. Love you. Bye.